okie dokie um right let's start with the primer this is what the box looks like sorry i've got my um i was sorting up my makeup and well i've got everything that it doesn't help that pat mcgrath has everything in black so anyway um yeah so this is the skin fetish sublime perfection primer base perfection um uh, it comes in three uh, 30 ml this is what the bottle looks like i actually thought this would be like a glass bottle but it's actually plastic um, and then obviously there's a pump um i will um read you as to what they claim about this one um because i've heard quite good things about it but i obviously haven't hadn't tried it so i wasn't sure so they say uh, makeup meets skincare in the ultimate smoothing skin refining primer the first step in pat in pat mcgrath's iconic system smooths hydrates and renews with a sublime silk effect that instantly turns back time on your complexion by preventing moisture loss infused with hydrating hy hyaluronic acid this major moisture magnet preserves skin's most youthful qualities including suppleness elasticity and tone right a lot of things there but we shall see um now obviously right now i only have my moisturizer on so i will put this on my skin and we'll see how we do yeah it's a very 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 light pink um tint i'm not really sure oh it's very cold oh it smells so nice this actually smells really really nice that is gorgeous you know what it feels like feels like a, like a really um comfortable moisturizing cream and it's completely synced into my skin like i actually feel like my skin is like prepped and it's ready and it's plump that is a gorgeous like i don't feel anything on my skin it's gone in so nicely okay and um for foundation i'm going to be using the fit me matte poreless normal to oily skin for some reason i think i'm literally one of the few people who hasn't gotten along with this i don't really know why and i don't really know what has happened there honestly um but yeah i'm, I'm keen to try it because a lot of people like this the color i have is 105 this is very you see that's the thing with um with this foundation i find it just too thick it's quite difficult to maneuver it's quite difficult to use um but people absolutely love it so i am happy to give this another chance i'm just going to use a bit more on here just to cover up my nose looks really really red so i just want to make sure everything is sorted out um a few things i can see that so before when i when i used this um i thought it had a very overly drying texture i know it's matte and poreless but it didn't really make my nose any um pore less whatsoever um this time now it could be a placebo effect i don't know but right now i can see my nose um it still is showing a lot of pores i'm not going to lie um like i can see them all on this side and all on this side and that's the main reason why i absolutely hated this um, foundation because it showed off literally all of my pores um, now the next thing I have is this so I've kept it in the packet that I came just so that you can see um, I don't understand why they send it like this I know it looks really really pretty but it's such a messy packaging because when you open it all of these sequences they literally go everywhere so I very carefully kept it in this and what this really is um, this is the skin the fetish sublime perfection blurring under eye powder um, now you know that i have oh this is the in the color medium by the way um, now you know i have a very very 
wrinkly eyes so I thought this might be a really good product to use um, and test and people have really raved about it online so I thought you know let's take it let's take a whirl so this what this is what it looks like um, again beautiful packaging a very small tiny mirror here and then you've got the product here uh, now let's see what they have claimed about this one um, so the claims are this um, perfect under eye with flawless even illumination created for use on its own or paired with skin fetish um, concealer Fitless powder provides the ultimate finishing touch to any eye look. It's delicate, silky um, texture sweeps on effort effortlessly to blur fine lines and imperfections. Light reflecting properties deliver a luminous lifted effect within, with a soft focus finish. So it comes in four colours light medium and deep and then it comes in yellow as well i think yellow it might be like they, like they said it's for it's to be um used as, as a brightening powder in certain areas not just under the eyes so um i have taken out my number seven concealer because it's the one that i recently used and i wasn't really convinced about it so um I thought I would use this and the powder on top but what I will do is use one this on one eye and the Pat McGrath on the other eye and then set it with this and we'll see how we go so I'll just I will just give me two seconds I'll go and collect my um, other concealer okay so I've got my Pat McGrath concealer here and <clears throat> my number seven over here um, the color I use in the Pat McGrath is LM10 and in the number seven one I use light now to accompany that, I also bought uh, the Pat McGrath brush. It looks so beautiful. Let me open this. Actually, I haven't used it. I haven't even opened it. So, so this is what the brush looks like. You know what? I have to say though, on online, I I thought it would be much weightier, but it's very light. Like it's a, it's really really tiny. So look, it's literally it's tiny, um, and it's very light. I thought it would be slightly weighty. Anyway, okay. So, uh, shall I zoom you in? There you go. Um, so I'm just going to put one dot here on the Pat McGrath because it is so full coverage. And then let me blend this in with the brush. So, the Pat McGrath side is done. Now the number seven side, I'm going to look like an absolute idiot because both of these um, concealers have such different tone, undertones to them. Okay, so um, let's set this. I am thinking of setting this with the brush, but then I'm thinking I usually don't use a brush. I use the use, use my um, sponge. Sorry, it's very disgusting. So I will actually use that. Anyone see any difference? Um, you know what it smells like? It smells like yogurt. That's disgusting. <laughs> It really does um okay i what i can feel is that it is very very lightweight um i don't think it settled into any lines as such one of my line under this eye is very prominent and it doesn't go away so i'm just going to ignore that for now also good i, I can't really complain it it hasn't it hasn't really give me, given me like a bright effect. Say the like on first impressions, the Pat McGrath side is definitely looks much more plumper, looks quite smoothed, uh, while the number seven one doesn't. But that's what I wanted to check. That's what I wanted to test. Okay, now I'm just going to set every uh, my face. So we've set the under eyes. I'm just going to set my face with the Fit Me Loose Finishing Powder in the color Fairlight 10. You know what? This is actually um, a new discovery for me. I know, surprise, surprise. I literally have been living under a rock. Um, oh, um, the brush that I'm using is the Real Techniques 407 brush. 
This is the multitask brush, it's the mini one. It's a travel one, I really, really like it. Let's go in with the rest of our face. So I'm just using the Fenty um, Shady Biz bronzer. Um, I've also recently bought this brush from uh, NARS. Like I literally am on a bit of a, a brush frenzy these days and I don't understand why I was not a brush person. Like I wasn't, I really wasn't. I only had like a few eye brushes um, and I had like one brush for my um, uh, blush that I used to use for like bronze as well. So, but honestly, like this is, but I have to say though, this brush is beautiful, but it's so delicate. And I think the reason why it's delicate is because it's um, handmade. So I understand, but it's so, so nice, so nice to use. And it blends in products so lovely. Um, and then for blush, I'm using this one from Tarte. This is the Amazon Amazonian Clay 12 Hour Blush in the color Harmony. The only thing is I almost feel like they forgot to put a mirror in. Like, doesn't it feel like that? I almost feel like that, but it's fine. I've got other blushes with mirrors, so I'm not gonna complain. But yeah, but this color is really, really nice. It's so natural and goes on so nicely and it blends like a dream right highlighter now again this is one from uh, pat mcgrath i am um, i bought this because i was intrigued uh, i don't have anything like this uh before i've i don't think i've used anything like this before but the pictures that i saw online of people wearing this were absolutely beautiful and they were just raving about it anyway um so this is what it looks like in the package um it's like a card card packaging and then you open it like this i mean pat mcgrath and their packaging you know is sublime <laughs> oh my god that's such a cheap joke right um yeah so then you open this up and this is what it looks like how beautiful is this like really it's so weighty like feels like um you know those scrolls that you get messages in and letters in um yeah so it's double-ended um the color i have is it comes in a few colors i've got the color golden i think it comes in if i'm not wrong yeah it comes in three colors so it's double-sided obviously on one side you've got the actual highlighter and then on the other side you've got like this really creamy balm if it wants to focus there it goes so that's the balm that's the highlighter now let's see what they say um so they say gliding on effortlessly to impart a veil of sinfully sublime luminosity luminosity the creamy highlighter of reflects and and refracts light Conjuring iconic illumination realness. The transparent balm formulated with aloe and argan oils plus hyal hyaluronic acid delivers dewy divinity as it softens the skin. Luxurious finishes satisfy every highlighting addiction. Take your glow to the fourth dimension and prepare for a legendary lit from within gleam that's truly alien-genic. Don't look like an alien. <laughs> anyway, um, you know what, before I put this on my skin, I just want to do like a swatch for you. So, now this is not like kabam in your face. Um, it's supposed to be subtle. Can you see that? Oh my God, that is gorgeous. Can you see that? That is beautiful. And it's so lightweight. And let me put the balm. So the balm. So this is the balm. Again, obviously it's like a, it's not really a colored balm, but it's supposed to go on top. You know what, I can't wait anymore. I do wanna, I just wanna put on my skin. Um, so we'll just take it on my finger. And add it here. Oh wow, can you see that? <gasps> like it's not in your face, but it's like, it really is. It should, it's like gleaming from within. Oh my God, that is beautiful. 
but obviously everyone likes like a bit of a like a bam highlighter but this is like oh my can you see that sheen that is beautiful now I do want to put the balm on top so I'm just going to take like a different finger and put it on one side I'm just going to put the balm on one side um, only because I I'm not sure whether it might um, disturb the foundation or the concealer under it so I'm just going to use this side for the balm Oh, can you see that? That is beautiful. I am obsessed already. Um, right, what do we have left to do? Um, I will complete my eye, eyes um, and everything else and I will come back to you shortly. Okay, so I have actually brought you right in front of my window so you can see what my skin and my under eyes are looking like. So um it's not bad guys i'm not gonna lie i have to say the pores initially were looking quite prominent initially but now that everything's settled in it looks really nice and can you see that highlighter like honestly honestly this is beautiful this is the one without the balm this is with the balm but even without it look how beautiful that is that's like a sheen it literally is like from within um and it's just beautiful i really, really like it um now coming on to the under eyes so this is the one where i used the number seven one and this is the pat mcgrath one you know what these lines that i have under my eyes will always be a problem <laughs> um this one in particular is always a problem so i usually just do this once i apply my um product so this is the one with the number seven. This is the Pat McGrath. I, now I don't see a very big difference between the two of them. Uh, they look fairly similar. Um, however, I will say that my this part of my eye definitely, definitely does look much, much smoother. And um, yeah, so far so good. But oh, look at that, beautiful. Okay, so I will uh, carry on with my day and yep, yeah, I will see you guys um, at the end of the day. Hi guys, so it is the end of the day now. I have had this makeup on for, let me check actually, uh, just over nine hours um it's half past ten in the night so it has been on my face for quite some time um right let's really zoom you in i just want to show you what my skin is looking like um and i will say i'm very very pleasantly surprised there isn't much like shine uh, or breakage in here please ignore my nose i was wiping my nose while i was having dinner so please ignore that but other than that um everything looks really good i think um the primer has held up really nicely it hasn't made my skin uh, dry it hasn't caked it hasn't come off anywhere but i haven't touched um like my forehead is fine coming on to the under eyes hmm if you see um they are actually quite the same to be honest they haven't really they, you can't really see a big difference between them um so it feels like i mean the the powder is good but it's not fantastic it's nothing out of the ordinary i will definitely use it again it is a good powder not yeah hasn't blown my mind but yeah it's, it's quite good it's quite decent um and i will definitely use it again that's for sure um, the highlighter is still on my cheeks if you can see right there it's still on and throughout the day I I was like catching myself in the mirror and I was like wow the highlight is amazing it really is I do like it this side is with the balm I don't see a very big difference now maybe you can see it on camera yeah this side slightly is just slight tad more shiny um, but like I said it's held up for over nine hours nearly coming to 10 so 
Yeah, I think so far this has been a very, very, very positive um, video in terms of how the products were and you know how much I like them. So yeah, absolutely, I will definitely use them again. And yeah, let me know if you guys have tried this too. And I shall see you in another video. Bye guys.